Okay, so another day with Tracy. So we go out like once or twice a week. I mean, always once, but, and I feel like I'm doing a horrible job. Like I always bring my camera in the car to vlog what we eat, but then I always forget to bring the camera into the restaurant. So let's see if I remember today. Cause like, oh, and then I see here and then we start talking and then I just forget about the camera. Um, I trimmed my hair a little bit today. I might have to, I did it very quickly in like five minutes. So I'll have to probably do it again. So I'm still using that same video, but I feel like maybe because my, I don't know, her hair is really long too, but like my uh, layers and angles get cut pretty nice to like a certain point, but then like there's like an excess of like three inches or something maybe where I feel like I need more like hair. She can go, she can go. Um... Oh, I should put that, where are we going? We're going to Brew Garden. Uh, yeah, so I noticed I have to like do a little more extra trimming down there. So I started doing it today and I like the way it looks better, but we'll just keep going. We're gonna be all, like you know, full service, self, self service. We're gonna cut our own hair, dye our own hair. What else? We do our own nails. A, a man should be happy to have me. I'm so inexpensive. But also, you only have to buy me like one drink and then I'll have like water for the rest of the evening. <laughs> so my hangout yesterday went super wonderfully well. Um, I've started employing this technique, tactic, I don't know if it's working for everyone, but I have to try it out a few more times before I like report back. But it's basically just setting up expectations immediately and this isn't like the first time I've met this person so it's not like I'm not I can't just spring this I guess on just brand new people but we'll see we'll, we'll see how this goes I've never been to this restaurant before so that'll be interesting this is so dangerous right now here we go okay that's fine brew garden mac and cheese skillet with pretzel bread Buffalo chicken. B buffalo chicken, so it's spicy, but good spicy. And then pulled pork tacos with Korean slaw and tortilla chips and salsa. All right, so we just finished Brew Garden. And I did not like it, the food. So the mac and cheese was, do you want to be? <laughs> the mac and cheese was good but I thought the pasta should have been more al dente. And then the tacos. She likes hard pasta because it was not bad. No, the whole flavor was good. I just like the <laughs> texture. <laughs> um, and then the tacos were fine until you got to like, well, they were, the pulled pork was a little mush, mushy. It was not good. But then you get, it said it was like Korean barbecue. Slaw. Slaw. That was just like, really bitter cabbage like the part of cabbage like the aftertaste of cabbage i can't say i didn't eat it after i yeah, saw she her did. eat it because like, the face i made when i when i, I had was the, like oh, the I cabbage part was not okay and then the boost was good yeah what did you order which two drinks i got a strawberry co no a mango cosmo don't look at me like i know what you got i don't know <laughs> you got a mango cosmo i think i got a strawberry one because i don't remember mango anything the first thing oh okay because it was like not that it shouldn't be pink, it's Cosmo, but I'm pretty sure it was strawberry flavored, not mango flavored. And then I got a white sangria, which was really good. It didn't really taste like a sangria, but it wasn't bad. It tasted more like a mimosa. So that, that's our review. It was pretty good though. But we're not going back ever. So I don't know if that means it's good or not. Okay, so I got- It's I'm, not the rail. I'm gonna the show- The the place. The, yes, the rail. Next time we go, let's make sure like we get some good staff. Cause I think they wouldn't mind being in the vlog. No, like that guy yeah. that we made friends with, he's great. Yeah. I don't know his name, I don't know anything about him, except for he's 25. Works out, hurt his neck. <laughs> hurt his neck, that's right. <laughs> okay, so these are from Neiman's, and um, I already shared them with you guys. I'm gonna share them with Tracy and see what she thinks. So these, do we like these? I do like them. I like them a lot. You do? I super like them. I think they would look good on you too. Let me try them. They're really delicate too. Like they're like dainty. 
Oh yeah, I'm scared I'm gonna break them. Oh, I think they're, they're kind of big for my head. But see, I feel like they're big for my head too. But they're pretty. Yeah, I like them. Maybe if my hair was done, it would look better. But look, they're falling. They're like way but too are, big But do for I my like head. them enough to keep them? I don't know. Let me see the other ones. I don't like them as much as your ones that you normally wear. I know, because see, the ones I normally wear are so cute. So but I really like the gold. I feel like I, I would, I would these, like though. this better if it was darker, too. They had different like, ones. Like, the contrast is not great enough. Oh, I know what you mean. Like, it doesn't take, it doesn't add to the shape because it's, like, not dark enough to, like... Yeah. Because I feel like the... Okay. I really like the gold. Okay. But it just... You see it they too much. They have them in a lot of different frames and a lot of different lenses, but, um... This not one, that I don't like them. This it's was just on the, sale. The contrast is not there. Why do I feel like I see this guy everywhere? I feel like he works everywhere. You're such a creep. You look so familiar. You're such a creep. Okay, so these are by D squared. D squared 2. And these are a massive cat eye. I don't like those. Also, if I were to, not that I would go to a concert in Headbang, but not if I move. Not look bad, but I, they're just, but I definitely feel, don't like them as much as the other feel ones. Feel how big they are. They're sturdy, which no, I no, like no, better but, than but the other ones. Put them on and tell me how they feel. They're going to fall. I was saying they you. Don't fit. I was saying that you need like another like two inches on either side for them to fit properly. Like whose head like, is look, who's, her, her head doesn't like, they, oh, don't they even don't go over her ears. ears. <laughs> like I don't know. My head's too little. Yeah, her head's super tiny. I have um, to get like extra small hats. Did I tell you we got hats at work and the no. small doesn't fit me? It's too big. <laughs> They're like what's the children's <laughs> size. Um, okay, so I might return both then because we're not in love with either of them. No, I don't like these and like. Yeah. The, at first, I thought it was an issue. I'm like, well, I don't have a nose, a bridge. <laughs> I don't. I don't really have one either, though. Okay, well, I'm returning these. Maybe they're just, too big. Yeah, all right. I don't like those at all. Oh, like, really? Sorry. I kind of like them. I don't. If they stayed on my face, I would have kept them. I think this is more of like a hair up glass, but I don't really wear my hair. My hair's up, up and it looks. You're up. like, shut up. <laughs> they are not. Cute. My hair's always up because <laughs> I don't get up early enough. <laughs> okay, so I, we're gonna attempt. She's gonna try and like remind me to make sure we vlog our food because we we meet a couple of times a week once or twice a week and we always try new places so we need to review them we did decide that if we meet more than once a week that we have to go to the gym the second day <laughs> okay whatever <laughs> we'll see that okay i have been set on another mission so lots of driving this week okay what was this person turning in all right so yesterday, after, oh, I'm so tired today, after hanging out with Tracy, uh, my friend texted me, he had not left Cleveland, he's actually gonna stay overnight and um, leave today. So we got to hang out and that was fun. However, it was probably, it was pretty late by then. And uh, he probably left, I don't know, 1.30 maybe, so I probably wasn't like in bed until two, which really not my ideal bedtime, during the work week. Um, do you see, I keep trying to adjust my seatbelt for you guys. I forget that I like put it off to the side, but I don't know, it defeats the point of a seatbelt. But, um, but it was so worth it because I love him so much. He is my sweetheart. And um, I hadn't seen him, like I said, since October. So very good catch up. And uh, oh my God, yeah. So I'm really tired now. But Tracy was thinking we should hang out today, and I was like, um, maybe. Although, I feel like because we're always eating and shopping, I guess I don't shop as much. I really, I shop when I'm alone. When I'm with people, I don't buy anything. Like, I barely buy anything. Like, yesterday we went to Marshall's. Oh, she got really cute. Okay, these are those velvet hangers, but hers were like with gold metal, and I was so jealous. We bought like, Maybe almost 200. I say we. Everything is a we now. <laughs> we, do, we, do, we do all things together pretty much. But, I mean, we all know those velvet hangers. They make a huge difference in your closet in terms of space, in terms of just in general how things look. But she got gold ones. Black and gold. So pretty. And we got a whole bunch of other really cute, cute, fun things for her apartment condo thing. So we went there, we went to Burlington, and then we tried to like extend our day longer. We always try to do this because everything closes around like what, 9, 9.30? So sometimes Target, Target's often open till like 10 and we'll like wander around there. So yesterday where we were, there wasn't very much stuff except for those two places and um, 
Krispy Kreme was open till 10, so we went there. So I don't know if it's like this in your area, because I didn't realize this. I thought this was like at every Krispy Kreme, at least around me in Ohio. I've lived here and I lived in Columbus. Anytime I go into a Krispy Kreme and the hot sign is on, you get a free donut. I thought that was standard across the board and she was like what yeah so we went in they're like are you would you like your free donut I'm like yes and she's looking at me like what are you doing and anyway don't get the strawberry chiller thing because it just tastes like strawberry like artificial strawberry syrup with like an icy yeah don't do that it's like three dollars for like a small and it's just not worth it um what else I don't want to share with you oh so today I haven't decided like I have energy now but I might crash around, you know, after lunch, so we'll see. But I'm thinking if we go out, we should, I really wanna go have the rail again. The rail is so good. So I'm thinking it'd be really awesome if we can like film a little bit in there, cause the staff is nice, but just cause the staff is nice doesn't mean they'll let you film. I'll sneak film. I'll tell them not to tell on me, something like that. But I was thinking if we go, we should, there's an area here where there's like a lot of pokey stops, so we should play Pokemon Go, so we're like more active. You know, I know she suggested going to the gym, but that's not my thing. <laughs> it should be. Here's the thing. I signed up at the gym in end of April, maybe, with intentions to go swimming a few times a week because that's like my, if I had to pick a favorite workout, I like swimming a lot and I like yoga. So I used to swim every day almost, often. When I was living in Dubai because my building had like a really nice pool and no one ever really used it and I was like why is here excuse me and like there's such a beautiful view like during the day oh during the day I tried not to because the sun is really strong but like evening would hit and I would it would just be like me by myself in this pool it was so beautiful the view just everything those are the things that I miss about Dubai. It's like whenever, wherever you go, wherever you look, things are just like really pretty and beautiful and clean. And I really love like Arab style architecture. So, uh, I'm gonna find me someone that's gonna go be there. Although I don't know if, I don't know if I really wanna live in Dubai though. Anyway. Where was I going with the story? Okay, I remember now. Um, gym. So, uh, by May, I already, I started, okay, is when I started getting eczema. So like May, June, July, eczema was a bit, you know, like can't function. And then, then they started renovation. Why would you renovate your pool in the summer? So, but that's what they did and there, it's not gonna be done until September. So that was a really dumb time to sign up. If I knew that, maybe I could have asked, but I guess it never occurred to me to ask like, hey, are you gonna be renovating your pool? Cause that's literally why I'm signing up here. Okay guys, so I got home from work and I'm gonna leave soon, but I wanted to share this with you. I decided to do some, maybe like clothing and stuff and send it to thread up. So this is the bag that came. Just let me show you. So, so it's a, I mean, I guess it's kind of a big bag. I could probably, well, I can't fit in it, but you know what I mean? Like, it's a pretty good size. But I feel like I wanted, uh, I really, I don't know if shoes can fit in here or how many pairs of shoes can fit in here. I guess I'll do clothes first. Probably just to get an idea of like the pricing. I'm like orange. Okay, that's like marginally better. And then, oh, what's going on here? I have to change. <laughs> So I told you my friend came over yesterday, right? He changed my minimum age on Tinder to whatever the youngest is. What's the youngest? Is it 18? I would think, it's whatever's legal, right? So this morning I wake up to like, like so baby, like so baby, too baby. <laughs> I'm like, I cannot like you back. You are really sweet, but no. Um, so, I don't know what do you guys what do you guys personally think is like I don't want to say that we use the word inappropriate but like what is like not the right age like I I have my minimum set at 25 and I'm 33 and I don't I don't 
I don't I don't want to be like oh I would never be with someone who's that much younger than me but I also want to say I would never be with someone that's that much younger than me you know what I mean like that's like a fun area I really enjoy that age that mid-20 age but I don't know you gotta have like categories you know this is this is this list this is the real list and this is the for fun list you know I'm so excited, we're gonna go to the rail. Oh my god, I'm just, we're just gonna go. Okay, so the lipstick is Nars Dolce Vita. And remember when the, um, the Audacious lipsticks came out? And I mean, I like a lot of the colors, but I'm just not someone that likes matte lipsticks, so. The original formula of the NARS lipsticks are so good and I feel like more people need to love them because so this is NARS Dolce Vita the first one I ever got was I was with Andrew no Andrew got it for me cruising that is so pretty but these they feel like okay if you've ever tried like the Laura Mercier like balm sticks or stick balms and maybe those YSL Rouge Volup shines this is kind of like if they had a baby like it has a little more pigment but it also has color oh my god I love it so much they're so good so I have this one and I have cruising I think I had picked up Belle du Jour but I thought it was like a little too um, like light for me I feel like so much lighter my tan is fading I haven't laid out in like two weeks probably right two weeks maybe it feels like it probably yeah because it's been raining <laughs> but that's good I kind of want my tan to fade so I can use the um, the skin caviar the La Prairie and the um, the Tom Ford stick so yeah all right we need to go but my phone also needs to charge I did not plan this day properly like I was busy at work so I could, didn't get to charge my phone and um, I just need to make sure I have enough batteries when we play Pokemon. Good morning. Okay, so let me share my lip with you guys real quick. Um, Cause I really like it today. We have Mac Oak <laughs> because I couldn't find strip down. So I use oak, which is a little cool toned, more cool toned, more brown than, oh, maybe just show you both of them, more brown than stripped down, which I guess is okay because I feel like I'm getting a little lighter. And then I have Hepburn Honey from Charlotte Tilbury. So we got those two together. So Hepburn Honey can go, I, I feel like it's not pink, but it looks kind of pink here. And then oak is obviously a little more brown. So together, it ends up looking a little peachy, which we always like. All right, next I wanna share, um, my hair is so uneven. Also, I don't know what's going on today. Okay, um, I want to share these eyeliners with you. So I love shades like uh, MAC Costa Riche. Let me show them to you. Ooh, I'm gonna give you a preview. Okay, whatever. Okay, so I love MAC Costa Riche. I love warm brown liners. I love liners that have like a really red undertone, like really warm. And then this is Lorac Bronze something. Rose, Bronze Rose. Okay, so the more brown one is Costa Riche and the top one is Rose Bronze. So I really love shades like that and I wanted to find more eyeliner shades in that family, like either darker or lighter or a different finish or a different undertone slightly, you know what I mean? So then I found these. They're also by that brand that I cannot pronounce. I think it's BBIA. B-B-I-A. I'm sure after this I'll figure it out or I'm sure someone will tell me which would be easier. Um, so it comes in a set. This is the Bohemian set and you get these eyeliners. And then the other set is called the Lady Edition and that looks like this. So these are amazing. Let me, let me show you how exciting these are. So they're in a plastic tube and you twist them up. So this one, this is Miss Classic Lady Brown. How pretty, right? This is Rose Coco and I have this on my waterline today. I actually might try using this as a lip liner. It's so pretty. 
This is called Sensual Bronze. This one came a little janky when I got it. It was like disc like not connected in the tube, but I kind of just like went with it and like, whatever, we'll keep it. This last one is called Tweed Pink. It's not my favorite. I mean, I guess maybe I would use it. Maybe I'll try it on the waterline. Maybe it'd be really pretty. So that was Lady Edition. This one, this set is the Bohemian. So that's Hippie Brown. This one's Bohemian Bronze. This one is Soul Brown. Morocco. And Brass. So there's like a mix of metallics and I would say matte shades. It's either metallic or, or matte pretty much. And they're so pretty. They go on so nice. I have, hold on. I have rose cocoa, this kind of like peachy color, not peachy, like a rose brown, which is like so pretty on the waterline today. I really like my eye makeup. I've, I've been still trying to use, not trying to use, testing out those like the shadows I picked up from Divina Cosmetics and Luxie, Luxie Beauty. I think that's what it is. Anyway, these are so good. I like, ooh, they're so, so good. So I will link them wherever I can below. And I mean, I could have just been like, here's a set and here's a set, but I think you can buy them individually. I actually have one shade that's coming individually at some point. So, and I know I've said this, but we're gonna do an Asian beauty video soon because I've been picking up stuff that I love so much. I get, uh, I guess, very similar questions, either via message or direct message or email from you guys. Sometimes I even see in the comments. And it's whenever I do like, when I talk about dating in my videos, you guys ask like if uh, people ever, if guys ever contact me because of YouTube or through YouTube, you ask something like, um, has a guy ever, have I ever dated a guy because they found me through YouTube. Okay, I don't know if those are the same questions. Or and then like, do the guys that you date know about YouTube? So, where should we start? The first one. Okay, so, I mean obviously when you're on YouTube and you're a female, you get messages or comments from guys, and they're sometimes they're creepy. Sometimes they're like just like more aggressive, where it's like they always comment or they always like email you repeatedly, and those are really easy to deal with. You can just ignore them. You know what I mean? And then, then it's like, okay, well, what if the guy's like a sincere, you kind of just use your creep compass to like determine if that person's like creepy. And also when, they're often like not in this country. They'll be like, I'm from blah, 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 and I this. Okay, I don't know what you think is going to happen <laughs> with us. Um, so that's that. And then as far as someone finding me because of YouTube, and I don't know if this is like, if, if like, they happen to also be like where I like if they also happen to be in Cleveland I feel like that would involve a lot of work like they would have to we would have to match a B I we would have to talk <laughs> we would have to like each other or not we I I guess because if we're talking about it from that point like I'd have to like the person I would have to like them enough to to meet them um and then at that point I feel like it should be transparent if if I don't know how, I guess I can see how it goes both ways. So the guy's like, yeah, I, I, I saw you on your channel. Then it would be like, hmm, okay, how long? And why do you, you know what I mean? Or it would be if they never told me and they just like, that would kind of creep me out too. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, it, it would involve effort on their part. And then I would feel just kind of like betrayed. I don't know if that's like, that's a strong word. I know, but so yeah. And then, do the guys that I date know about YouTube? That just really depends. Like, I, um, I don't offer it up as like a thing, but I find that the, there must be a lot of scam and fake profiles of females as far as like the guys side, because you get, you see these things in profiles all the time where it's like, um, message me on snapchat or send me you know send me a snap or message me or i don't message first which i think is like okay whatever but like there's a lot of you get this feeling that there's a lot of fake profiles out there and then when guys match with girls it's like call this number click this link blah 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 blah, blah. um i've never experienced a fake profile but i feel like i recognize fake profiles pretty well like i mean granted yes there are models around and maybe models are on tinder and it exists or bumble or whatever but i know that when i see a fake profile it's often like an actor like a foreign actor um like it'll be like i'll see like hong kong actors faces or pictures used as profiles or i'll see like 
John Abraham is a very popular one. You guys can Google him. He's a Bollywood star, very good looking. But I, so many people use his picture here and I'm just like, yeah, he's, I don't know, whatever. So I don't have that fake, I've never dealt with like a fake profile before, but, oh, anyway, oh my God. I lost my train of thought it's morning so basically i use i have a obviously i have a personal facebook profile but my settings are set like my privacy settings are set really high not for any particular reason except that like i'm just not big on facebook like i don't want to be found i don't want people to be able to find me also i don't post i don't have any pictures really i don't post anything <laughs> on my facebook and i just i don't want to get into it how i feel about facebook it just kind of whatever um i wouldn't even have it except i have family overseas that i like to see and i want to see what's going on with them so all my activity is basically liking photos of my family overseas or even like my family here and then coupons i, I have like a coupon.com definitely sign up for that but i always have like i guess that's connected to my facebook so it posts whenever i like pick a coupon there I have to stop that because then I look weird. It looks even more like a fake profile. So that's what I mean. Like my personal Facebook looks like a fake, not a fake profile, but like you can't really verify my identity through that. So usually if a guy, I think one thing there's like maybe two or three instances where I will, will, where I will share YouTube, but not YouTube specifically. I will share my Instagram, which obviously has my YouTube link in it. So if a guy's really pressing to verify my identity, then maybe I'll send that. Not maybe, that's usually what I'll send, like, um, so that it's like, yeah, this is me. But then the thing is, and they find YouTube, I often find that if they do watch the videos, it's like maybe they just like scan them. I don't know that, well, I can't say that. I think some people maybe do go through and watch more than that, but, oh my God, where am I taking this? My feet are falling asleep again. Um... Another time I would share my Instagram is if they offer their Instagram first, then I feel like, because I could just pretend like I don't have an Instagram either, but, but then like, what if like we talk for longer and then eventually, you know, you find out the person's last name and then they can Google you. I Google everybody that I can. And then you find their LinkedIn, you find their Facebook and you find out more about them. But then I feel like I'm a liar because it's like later on, it's like, oh, well, you did have an Instagram. Yeah. And I judge really harshly on how a person is like the first couple weeks, two to three weeks, I guess, because you're getting to know the person and if they can't be upfront about small things or like, you know what I mean? Like first impressions, basically, like if you can't present yourself the right way when there is like this certain kind of like respect, what's the, what do you call it? Like common respect or respect that you just have for people you just met or people you, um, does, does that, oh. I can think of the words in Chinese, I just can't think of the words in English, like, you know what I mean? Like, if you can't properly, if I don't like the way you are in general, you know what I mean? Then I'm not gonna really enjoy you once we get to know each other, because once you're closer to people, they become more themselves, and if there's, like, character traits or personality traits that are, that I, ex that I experience that I'm not particularly crazy about, I'm not gonna like them more <laughs> the longer I know you. So that, and then the third time, not the third, and then I guess the maybe another way I would share my Instagram is if, I don't know, or maybe if like we start talking about YouTube. Sometimes that happens, because you know, you talk about like Instagram, you talk about, you talk, social media is like a pretty common topic, I think, in terms of when you're talking to people. So it just depends, but not everyone that I talk to or everyone that I date will know about it. I don't. I don't offer it up. I'm one of those people where like, I don't care if you guys all know about YouTube, but like no one I personally know, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, my best friends know, but I'm not like broadcasting it. You know what I mean? I'm not like, oh, I have a YouTube channel. It's, it's like my little thing. It's like my little like thing that I do that I like because I love doing it. So anyway, my feet are completely asleep and I need to get to work. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to edit this vlog and I think we'll do an Ulta favorites video this week also as like the beauty video plus the vlog. And uh, tonight I'm probably just gonna do that all night and laundry. Oh, I think I might dye my hair. Not dye my hair, but like, 
these roots guys anyway i'll talk to you guys soon bye